You know we Igbo people now. We believe that anything that can kill a goat can kill a human being. <laughs> you understand? So in this video, I'm going to show you a delicious and medicinal food that can be very poisonous when prepared the wrong way. They cooked it for 24 hours, okay, and then they, they brought it out. They gave me with palm oil. I, I ate it. I did not like the taste. You are going to see how the people of Imo State cook and eat this poisonous dish. But first, hello guys and welcome back to Epic Food Review. Today, I have brought to you one of the most ancient foods eaten in Imo State. This food is so ancient that the recent generations, most of them, don't even know about this food. The food I'm talking about is called Ona. And today we are going to find out the amazing health benefits you get from eating Ona. And we are also going to see how the people of Imo State prepare this Ona. Let's go. Ona, also known as bitter yam or three-leaved yam, is a species of yam that is mostly found in Africa. It is a very toxic yam that must be prepared and eaten with care to avoid getting poisoned by the food. There are two types of this Ona. Okay. You understand? There is the white one. That one, when you cut it open, the inside is white. Very white. White, yes. Mm. Like a normal yam. Okay. You understand? Mm. So that one is very, very poisonous. Okay. To both human and animal. Ah. Yes. So that particular one now, before to be on the safe side, you have to soak it overnight. Uh -huh. Then cook it for like 24 hours. Some people they will cook it overnight in hmm. the morning before they go to farm. They will still put fire and cook it and again. Cook it. When they go to farm and come back, they will cook it again before they will start eating it. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. That particular one is very very poisonous. You understand? Uh -huh. But when you when you are done cooking it, you can be able to eat it. The yellowish white one. Uh -huh. The one that the color is a bit uh, yellow. It's a bit yellow. Uh, uh, that one you soak it overnight, then cook in the morning, like uh, four hours. Uh, yeah, but that one is poisonous to animal. Okay, that that one is poisonous to, to animal. animal. If goats should eat it now, the goats will die. Ah. Yes, that one is poisonous to animal, but it's not poisonous to human. Mm. But to be on the safer side, you know now you have to soak and, and cook, cook it yeah. for at least four hours. Four hours, yes. You know we Igbo people now, we believe that anything that can kill a goat can kill a human being. <laughs> you understand? So, to be honest, you okay, have okay. to just soak uh, and cook. My brother, anything that can kill a goat uh, no. can kill a human being too. Yes. Okay, okay. So, so to be on the safe side, you still have to soak, soak that one and still cook, cook it for it at least four hours. four hours. So the one the one we are going to eat today, is it the one that they cook overnight? No, 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 no. It's just normal one. They will not cook this one overnight. Okay, mm. okay. Ona is eaten all over Nigeria in different ways and is known by different names. But it is one of the main ancient food eaten by the people of Imo State in the eastern part of Nigeria. It is loved in all parts of Imo State except Owere, where it is seen as a taboo. The Owere people believe that calamity befalls anyone who eats this species of yam, and this tradition has stood the test of time. The Imo State people also have a special sauce used in eating the honor, and we'll be seeing everything here today. This order now, I've eaten it before, mm. and I didn't like it. Why? Okay. I, they gave me the honor with palm oil to eat. Normal I, palm oil. Uh, just palm oil. With uh, salt and pepper. Yes, I didn't like it. I ate it in uh, Enugu State. Mm. They cooked it for 24 hours, okay, and then they brought it out. They gave me with palm oil. I, I ate it. I did not like the taste. Now, is there a difference between the way you people prepare it here and the one they gave me? Yeah, I think there's a difference because you don't use red oil, normal red oil, to eat on. Mm. Normally, you can actually, but okay, like you're saying, no, you don't like it. Maybe you like this one because it has a special sauce prepared for it. Okay. So we call it ingo. Ingo. Mm. When they finish preparing on a bang. Mm go for it you understand okay uh, so when you eat it with the sauce on itself is very sweet it's better than yam yeah, I mean, just, it's not sweet the one i ate that place is not sweet eating it alone uh, ah you don't know what you're talking about on itself is very sweet on its own it was not sweet don't worry you taste this one mm. maybe it's a different species i don't know i hear that this food has a lot of health benefits so do you know any of them uh, i just know some they are like uh, it's used to manage diabetes okay you understand Herbalists also use it to manage infertility both in both men and women. Mm. Uh, those mm. are the two that uh, I heard about. Wow. It has some other health benefits which I don't know. Uh, but but I the one you are, you this know. This is the one I know. But okay. I believe this food has so many health benefits. Wow. If they should research on it. Wow. You understand? So mm. I can't wait to eat it. Uh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go and see how the Igbo state people eat their very ancient honor. Let's go. The ingredients you need include the honor, oba or processed oil bean seeds, ogiri, dry pepper, palm oil, and palm ash. Start by soaking the washed honor in fresh water overnight. 
Then cook the honor for at least 4 hours, after which you peel the honor and set aside. To make the sauce, add some water to the palm ash, stir and allow it to settle. Then pound your dry pepper and sieve in the water from the palm ash into the mortar containing the dry pepper. Add some palm oil and mix until a yellowish sauce is formed. Now add your oba and oguri and mix very well. Also add salt to taste. Adjust the thickness to your liking by adding water and your honor sauce is ready. Alright, so let me eat it like this because I've eaten this thing in Enugu. So I want to know if it's the same thing or it's quite different. It's not sweet. It's sweet. <laughs> when you eat it just like this, it has a, a mixture of a little bit of sweetness and bitter, that like is, yes. mixed together. The taste is, is you don't I don't know how to explain the taste because but it's just like a sweet bitter taste when you eat it like this. So I will have to use this sauce. First of all, this sauce smells amazing. Guys, it's, it really smells very, this, the aroma is so inviting. So let me just eat this with the sauce and know if it's going to be better or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eating this or not, plain like this, I don't recommend it. But eating it with this sauce, mm, it balances everything out. The sauce is spicy and it contains oba, which is um, processed oil beans. That processed oil beans, anything you add it inside is always good. So the taste of the oba mixed with the ogiri and other things they added inside this sauce makes it a very, very unique and sweet sauce. So when you pair it with this honor, it's quite delicious. It's amazing. I love it. Mm. I love this one because when I ate it in Enugu, mm. and I thought you are going to like it because of the sauce. Mm, the sauce, the sauce is, is very special. This one is quite better to eat it with this sauce yes, yes. than to eat it with normal palm oil. All right, guys. So we've come to the end of today's video. If you love this video, you know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. And always remember, eat to live while I live to eat. I am Mr. Epic, and I will see you on the next video.